There are many instances in which using filler or Bondo over a painted surface is very acceptable. And in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about that, and I'm going to give you some tips on how to go about it so that fixing hail damage, ice damage, or small dings can be a lot easier. Before I begin, however, I'd like to demonstrate how well filler sticks to just a DA'd surface or a sanded OEM painted surface as compared to a grinded surface. So, this is fully cured Bondo and I'm just going to take an air hammer to both sides so that you can see how well it sticks. So it did chip off right here and it didn't chip off here and even if I take a a chisel to that. That sticks very well. And that sticks very well. So to me it sticks very similar to both surfaces. So you can rest assured that your filler is going to stick to a, a properly sanded painted surface. The first step in using filler over a painted surface is to sand the area. So I'm going to be using 120 on a DA and I'm going to take care of this little ding right here. And that's good enough right there. I'm just going to get the rest of that with my finger. Uh, and some sandpaper. I'm going to mix up some filler and I'll be right back. The next step is to mix yourself up some body filler and we're just going to spread it out. And it's like that. That's good enough. After mixing and applying the filler, the next step is to use a cheese grater to take off the excess. That way you're not tempted to use a rougher sandpaper and end up putting deep scratches in the paint. So we're just going to gently run this across there and just take off the excess so that we can use 80 grit or a hunt, even 100 grit on this filler and then we'll have a nice smooth unscratched surface to prime over. So when I get this cheese grated and it, and it hardens a little bit, bit more, I'll be back to sand it. After using the cheese grater, uh, the next step is to use some 80 grit or 100 grit. And you're just going to lightly go over it because the cheese grater got it almost, almost right on. So we're just going to go over that. And now it's, it's, it's super close, it's down to 80 grit, but I'd like it a little bit smoother uh, to, before I prime. So what I'm going to do is just use a DA with some 100 grit. So this is just, this is 120, and I'm just going to go over this very lightly. And that little ding has been taken care of without grinding it down to bare metal. So if you had hail damage and you had these little dings all over the hood, this would be the way to repair it. I hope you enjoyed this video on whether or not you can use filler over sanded OEM paint. And if you did, and you would like to see my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.